We're going camping. We're going camping. We're gonna park by a shady tree. We're gonna get a glass of sweet tea. And we're going camping. We got a fire in the pit. We're gonna roast marshmallows on a stick. We're going camping. Let's go see what camping's like here. Hey, well hello fellow RVers, this is Gary, Rough Road RV Life, sharing behind the camera, we like looking at freedom. So where has freedom brought us? Well, freedom has brought us to the hottest part of the whole United States of America. We are at Lake Havasu, Arizona, across the lake, those mountains, that's California. And we got temps here up in the hundreds, so we're just enjoying uh, self-baking. Uh, we, we finally found the 100 degree Arizona yeah. temps. We've been looking all this time. We've been so disappointed our whole travel that we haven't had 80s and weather. 90s. But we got it now. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to do a little tour of this park. It's a kind of a linear park. It's a big park, big lake, a boater's paradise here. And uh, let you see what this park's all about. But we're going to start here because I want to show you this is our backyard. Right there. Back. 84 degree water. Yes, it is so pleasant to go sit in. You forget all about how hot it is. There's our fire ring, our lantern pole, our picnic table is right behind our RV, and there is our, there is Rough Road right there. And our yard, and we do have this lovely shade tree right over here. So now we get to get in the car. And we'll show you all these lovely campsites here. All right, folks, so if you're coming in, right there is where you check in. That's the check-in station. Get all your papers and everything you need there at the check-in station. Then you go straight to the uh, two campgrounds from there. But that right there is where you check in. And since this park is all about the lake. How many boat ramps are there? There's a lot. We're going to swing around now that I've showed you the check-in station and we're going to start at the very end down here at the boat ramps and just work our way all the way down because everything's in a row. I think this is the jet ski. Yeah they have a separate um, boat launch area for jet skis and, and uh, watercraft. And then they have another boat ramp for, you know, the power boats, fishing boats, and all those kind of boats. And we were here Sunday. There were quite a few cars in all these parking lots. Yes. And this is also, they have boat rentals. They got pontoon boats, different sizes. They got, you know, ski boats, all kind of jet skis, everything. If you want to uh, rent a watercraft of some sort, you would do that here they got a little store in there you can get ice etc etc hourly rentals bathroom and, and that's your uh, jet ski launching area yeah. all, right. Okay. all right we're back to the check-in station this we'll call this area number two that's one of these. We gotta go around. They are named, but we don't know what their names are. <laughs> this is Boat Launch Road, I believe it's called. Yep. There is a trail right there. It's a mile and a half. I think. Sunset Trail? Yeah, three mile round trip. It um, goes out over those hills. It's kind of pretty. I like some of it. Okay, we're going to show you as many sites as we can before my phone shuts off from being too hot. Site one is right there. Site two. And straight ahead right there behind site three, site three is right there, is a little dog beach area. Bathhouse to the left. And here we go around the middle. Site five. Site six, and these are the waterfront sites. The 
that's a little swim beach area. No dogs are allowed. It's a Win Windsor Beach. Site 7 right there and Site 8. Site 9 is across the way there and we are Site 10. Woohoo! So you can see there are sites in the middle. Site 14 is right beside us. Site 15 to the left. Site 16 to the right. And those beach areas out there, dogs are not allowed. All right, there is a middle road here. There's a look at the middle row, the middle lane. but we're not going to hit that because um, of how hot it is and my phone will not last. 22 is right there to the left and 23 is to the left. And then you've got some woods over here to the right. Now there's another little section coming up here and you see site 24 right in front of you but directly across from there is another little what they call brown area or rocky area where you can take your dogs out to the water and that is right there. And then we've got more beachfront right here, site 34, site 36, site 35 to the left, 37 to the left. So there's a few trees here and there. You do have some shade. And they have a good map online so you can see you know, what you're selecting. 40 is to the right, 41, 42. So that's about the gist of the campground area. So right there is uh, one of the boat ramps. No one uses this one, many people. Not really sure why, but there are trucks here, so somebody's using it. So there's several boat ramps, and they do have what they call rustic cabins. They look pretty nice, though, don't you think? The bridge. Okay, there you go. Um, it's a day-use area. Bathrooms, covered picnic tables, green grass, swim area. And then over there's the Channel Beach, where all the boats were parked. Uh, and then there's a the Channel Beach. It's a little inlet over here, and. Uh, people were hanging out over there the other day but you have to walk there well I think you can drive over but um, it's just right up in there all right massive place now it looks pretty empty right now but let me tell you when we arrived here Sunday this place was rocking and rolling and the ranger says it will be rocking and rolling this weekend but it nice peaceful stay during the week. Here is a cabin loop. I don't know what the story is. They do have some sites along the way here. I don't know if it's overflow. It's mule deer. There's a trail. Red fox. But here's the cabins. The C-17 Bighorn. C-16 Havelina, C-15 Chukawala. I see air conditioning and electric. Yeah. And they have a little swim beach out here. C-14 Tarantula and their Scorpion. I don't know if I'd like those. Those names. And there's a bathroom over to our left. Gila Monster, our bathhouse. Diamondback. Wren. Swim beach beyond that. Really nice. They have a nice front porch on them, picnic area grill. So those are the cabins. And there are some campsites over here we'll see in a minute. Quail right there. You got the beach right in front of you. And Roadrunner. And Osprey. Very cool. And there's these other campsites, which I, I guess are rentable. Ringtail. Bobcat. And there's a nice pull through on our left. Ranger. But if you are looking for a nice shady path, there's the cactus garden. Very pretty. And 
there's a Cigaro cactus out there, one of the big ones, and other ones, a Joshua tree. And you can also access the Sunset Trail. And then we're back to our campground. Uh, campground 3A. And campsites are all out through there. So plenty of room. Get a good picture of the overview right here. Yeah, I'm getting it. Not right up next to your neighbor. And this was pretty well, it wasn't extremely full, I guess, when we got here because it was Sunday. A lot of people had left. There's sites 4 through 10 this way. That would be us. 11 through 16 that way and 17, 43 beyond. What do they have? About 50-something sites here, all in all? All in all. Yeah. Well, fellow RVers, that was our little tour of uh, Lake Havasu State Park here in uh, Lake Havasu City. It was a... Uh, little bit different but it was um, 112 degrees camera kept shutting off I mean we had ice pack we had a fan we had the car air conditioner but uh, at 112 degrees it just wanted to keep shutting off on us so I guess we did the best we could with it but it wasn't bad so uh, you saw the park it's got a nice little cactus garden up there you can walk around Huge boat ramps everywhere because this is a boating lake. This is the feature of this park is Lake Havasu out there and it's huge. As far as our site goes now, we're sitting here with a nice level gravel site, um, well actually paved site. Uh, we got 50 amp and we got water. Uh, they do have a dump station over there and got plenty of room as you can see. We just got room everywhere. And of course, if you walk right back there, you got the lake that you can go swimming in. It's, it's about three or four foot deep, going on out there a little ways, almost to the buoys. I believe the water temperature out there is 84 degrees, although it's 110 or so here up on land. Uh, not far from here, you have the London Bridge. That you, and down the London Bridge, they got it called London Bridge City. They got little shops down there that you can go down there and eat in. You can walk across the bridge. It is the original London Bridge that was across the Thames River in England. They took it apart, numbered it brick by brick, brought it over here, and reassembled it. So you go over there and look at the bridge. London Bridge City, they have misters, so yeah. you can go cool off yeah, under the misters. You're going to need the misters. And the little shops over there. Now, Across the bridge and on down, there's a beautiful park there. But over there at the uh, the park is a giant dog park. You can put a button and the sprinkler comes up. The dog's gonna play in the sprinkler. Uh, it, it's huge, it's a huge dog park. It's not just a little one, it, it's really big. It's like the size of a residential housing yeah, lot. it's pretty big. <laughs> and then once you get through walking the dogs, right there they have the uh, London Bridge Channel people come in and dock their boats along the seawalls there and they're not going to fly and I guess it's a, it may be a competition to see whose radio is loudest but anyway you've got a lot of boats over there people docked up playing the radios swimming in the channel and you can also take your dog down there and let your dog splash around in the water there it's dog friendly yes it's, it's pretty dog friendly so that park is not far from here the city of Lake Havasu itself is big. Everything in the world you can imagine is up there. If you think of a store, it's there. All the way from Safeways to Walmarts to any restaurant, any department store you can think of is up there. Hobby Lobby, Ross. They're all there. <laughs> it's just huge. Now this is Labor Day weekend. And as you see, the boats are starting to pick up out there. But uh, we're actually moving today, going up the road a little bit. Uh, as far as uh, our Verizon service here was very good. Walking your dogs around here can be a little, uh, especially if we walk our dogs three times a, a day. The morning walk and, and the night walk is not bad. The afternoon walk, this asphalt, it gets brutally hot. So that's why we go over to the, uh, the park and walk them around the grassy dog park and uh, let them splash in the water because it is very hot here this time of year. I think we've got here in a record heat wave or something. Anyway, 
So we're above average. We're above. We're average. above the average. Yeah, it's over. It's in the hundreds every day. So I guess um. Well, tell everybody what's behind you. Like on the other side of the shore is. Well, yeah. The lake is split in half between uh, Arizona and California. If you go halfway across the lake, you're in California. This side, you're in Arizona. So if you want to fish out there, you just better hope a California fish don't swim over if all he gets an Arizona license. <laughs> but this lake is bigger than what you see. It goes on that way for a ways. It's a huge lake. It goes the Colorado River feeds it up here. And so it's uh, it's not just this, what you see out behind us. It goes around the bend and just keeps on going. But uh, like I said, we're moving today. Okay, I almost forgot to mention the trail. There is a trail. It's called the Sunset Trail. It's over by the Cactus Garden. It just goes up and you can look at the sunset. It's, it's not, beautiful. Sunsets are beautiful around here. Yeah, so are sunrises. And one other thing down at the big boat ramp area down there, which is monstrous. They do have boat rentals and jet ski rentals down there. Pontoon boats, power boats, jet skis, water, water craft. You can rent boats if you want to rent a boat to go out on the lake for the day. So I think that's about all. This part. Since we're moving. So this is Gary and Sharon and the dogs are in there. They're, of course today's move day so they're up. And uh, we like looking at freedom. Follow us on our journey. Click like and subscribe. All that good stuff. And we hope to see you on the road one day. If not, drop us a comment. We'll talk back to you. Talk back to you. Anyway, You'll chat care. back at you. Yeah. Leave a comment. We'll chat back at there you. There you go. So, take or care. Chat with you. <laughs> See you on the road. Stay safe.